All right, I'm back again and I'm going to work the quads today. And I'm just gonna use my fingers, but it's gonna be very detailed. And you know, once you start working on yourself, you know, you can try other tools, but to just to show you more detailed on the quads is easier than using the ball for this time. So we'll get started. So I'm starting on the inside and just get your fingers and start like, here's your knee, just go right there. That's usually a really sore, sore spot. But that's like the edge of the one quad. And if you just keep kind of going in circles right there, that's that spot is my worst spot. I don't know, you know, everybody's different on their sore spots, but that one, that one is mean. And I'm just going by the edge of all of it, but mostly in that, to start in that area. And just go all the way up. Then move your way into the belly area. You can just hold that spot. Now I've used the rolling pin on my legs. You know, that's a really easy way to release some tension. But if you really want to get some detail, you do it with your fingers. Or have somebody else do it. But this is self-massage, so we're doing it with our fingers on ourselves. And then get right above the knee and work your way up again. That spot's sore for me. Ooh, really sore. I'm just using my thumb just so you can see what I'm doing, but you can you know, use all your fingers because, you know, your thumb can only handle so much. Ooh, another sore spot. Work it up. Another sore spot. And work it, ooh, boy, gets more tender as I go up. All right, let's go to the other side. So this side right in here is where my, if my lower leg, like right in here or right in here is irritated and just driving me insane, I'll start just working the IT band, which is close to the quads, of course, right in there and just dig in right there. I'll use my thumb so you can see what I'm doing. But that is so tender right in there on me. Work it all the way down. Another sore spot right there. Work it up. Sometimes you need to just, or I just hold this like for quite a long time. And I actually use, ooh, my fingertips and just dig in. And it actually does release the muscle right on the inside of the tibia bone. Oh, boy, that's mean. And then just work it all the way up. So your quads, you know, four, so you gotta work all the parts of it. All right. Don't forget the rolling pin to finish it off. Just move that, those toxins around and makes your legs feel a lot better. It's the trusty rolling pin, yay. Get it right up there, right to the side. 
hold, even hold the spots still that you work that are tender. Then the top, same thing. And then in the inside. And that's all.